Next at 6, an area school district is proposing one of the largest single referendums in state history. Our Carrie Larson looked into the Verona School District's plan. If the Verona School District referendum were to pass on April 4th, this entire stretch of land all the way back to the highway will be used to build the new high school, which they say will address the community growth. One of our elementary schools is way above capacity, about almost 100, oh, actually more than 100 kids above capacity. Superintendent Dean Gorell says a recent study shows 4,500 new housing units and 1,500 new students will emerge in Verona by 2030. Growth needs are there. The district wants to expand on its education platform through three referenda that will be voted on next month. It includes a new high school, renovations to existing Badger Ridge Middle School, renovations to our existing high school, and the mechanical work uh, across the district. Voters will also decide if a new swimming pool and athletic fields will be built. If the two building referenda pass, the project could cost around $180 million. This would be an increase uh, for sure. We want to be very upfront about that. For those who have reservations, there is some relief. The closure of the epic TIF district allows Verona to collect taxes from the health software company, making it the perfect time for the school district to act on their growth concerns. Whether we address them now or in the future, that's, that's what the voters will ultimately decide. Taxes would increase by 79 cents per $1,000 of fair market property value if voters agree. Some residents say they are not opposed. I think, you know, the children are our future and our foundation, and we should do what it takes to make things better for them. The district will be holding referendum information sessions and presentations throughout the entire month of March. In Verona, Carrie Larson, WISC News 3. The third question on the ballot asks for funding for the new facility's operational expenses. And you can find a list of facts about the proposal by visiting the Verona School District website. The link there on your screen.